The Secrets of Xavier University Library, an Afrofuturistic tale by ChatGPT Chapter 1 in the heart of New Orleans, stood the proud and historic Xavier University of Louisiana. It was a beacon of knowledge and learning, renowned for its vast collection of books, manuscripts, and ancient artifacts from across the galaxy. But there was one place on campus that was rumored to be the most magical of all, the Xavier. University Library The library was an immense structure, its walls stretching high into the sky. The students of Xavier University were said to spend hours lost within its shelves, learning about all manner of subjects, from the history of their world to the secrets of the universe. Three students, in particular, were fascinated by the library and its endless knowledge. There was Nia, a bold and daring young woman, always eager for adventure and excitement. Then there was Kamal, the timid young man who loved to lose himself in books, always searching for answers to the mysteries of the world. And finally, there was DeAndre, a brilliant young scholar who was fascinated by the technology and science of the future. One day, as the three friends were exploring the library together, they stumbled upon an ancient tome that was said to hold the key to untold power. They were all immediately drawn to the book, each with their own motives for wanting to possess its knowledge. Nia, with her bold and daring spirit, saw the book as a chance to change the world and make a name for herself. Kamal was fascinated by the power that the book promised, but he was also afraid of the consequences that might come with possessing it. DeAndre, meanwhile, saw the book as a means to unlock the secrets of the universe and push the limits of human knowledge. However, there was one among them who had far more sinister intentions for the book. It was DeAndre, who was consumed by his thirst for power and his desire to be the greatest scholar of their time. He was willing to do whatever it took to unlock the secrets of the book, even if it meant using the knowledge for evil purposes. The friends soon found themselves caught in a dangerous game of power and deceit, with DeAndre using his intelligence and cunning to try and take control of the book's knowledge. Nia and Kamal, meanwhile, were determined to stop him and use the knowledge for good. As the three friends navigated the challenges and dangers of the library, they learned about the true power of knowledge and the importance of using it for good. They also discovered that sometimes the greatest adventures can be found within the pages of a book, and that the quest for knowledge can lead to both discovery and destruction. In the end, Nia, Kamal, and DeAndre each learned valuable lessons about the importance of friendship, bravery, and the responsible use of power and they vowed to use the knowledge they had gained to make the world a better place and to always remember the lessons they had learned in the library at Xavier University of Louisiana. Chapter 2 DeAndre was born in a small, technologically advanced city on the outskirts of New Orleans. From a young age, he showed an exceptional aptitude for science and technology, always tinkering with gadgets and machines and constantly seeking to understand how things worked. His parents were both scientists, working on cutting-edge research projects for the city. They encouraged DeAndre's love of learning and did everything they could to support his education. They enrolled him in the best schools, provided him with the latest technological tools, and encouraged him to explore his interests and follow his passions. As DeAndre grew older, his love of technology and science only grew stronger. He spent hours each day lost in books and experiments, always seeking to learn more about the world and push the limits of what was possible. He was determined to make a name for himself as a brilliant scientist and to one day lead his own research projects. However, as DeAndre's thirst for knowledge grew, so did his desire for power and recognition. He became consumed by his ambition, constantly seeking to prove himself as the smartest and most capable among his peers. He began to see the knowledge he acquired as a means to exert control and influence over others, rather than as a tool for understanding and improving the world. Despite his less than noble motivations, DeAndre's intelligence and drive continued to impress those around him. He was accepted into Xavier University of Louisiana, 
one of the most prestigious universities in the world, where he soon became one of the top students in his class. But even as he excelled in his studies, DeAndre's thirst for power and control never waned. He was always on the lookout for ways to increase his influence and knowledge, always eager to unlock the secrets of the universe and bend them to his will. And so, when he discovered the ancient tome in the Xavier University Library, he saw it as a chance to achieve the ultimate power and recognition he had always sought. Chapter 3 DeAndre had always been fascinated by the ancient texts and artifacts stored in the library at Xavier University of Louisiana. He spent hours in the archives, poring over dusty tomes and deciphering forgotten languages in his quest for knowledge. One day, as he was sifting through a pile of ancient manuscripts, he stumbled upon a leather-bound book unlike any he had ever seen. It was ancient and worn, the pages yellowed with age and the cover embossed with strange, unfamiliar symbols. Intrigued, DeAndre carefully opened the book and began to scan the pages. To his surprise, he found that the text was written in a language he had never seen before, yet he found that he could understand it, as if the words were being translated in his mind. Excited by his discovery, DeAndre spent the next several days holed up in the library, poring over the text and deciphering its secrets. He learned that the book was a powerful tome of knowledge, containing ancient spells and incantations that could unlock the hidden powers of the universe. With each page he read, DeAndre felt his desire for power and control grow stronger. He saw the tome as a key to unlocking the ultimate knowledge and unlocking the true potential of his abilities. He knew that if he could master the knowledge contained within its pages, he would be unstoppable, and no one would be able to stand in his way. And so, with a thrill of excitement and a sense of determination, DeAndre set out to unlock the secrets of the ancient tome and make its power his own. Chapter 4 of the two other students at Xavier University of Louisiana, the bold one named Nia and the timid one named Samuel, were both avid patrons of the library and had grown up with a love of knowledge and learning. They often frequented the archives together, exploring the shelves and discovering new books and artifacts. One day, as they were wandering the stacks, they stumbled upon DeAndre, who was deeply engrossed in the ancient tome he had discovered. Nia, being bold and inquisitive, approached DeAndre and asked him about the book he was reading. To her surprise, DeAndre was evasive and secretive, unwilling to share what he had found with anyone else. Nia and Samuel, being friends and fellow seekers of knowledge, were intrigued by DeAndre's secretive behavior. They began to investigate, digging through the library's archives and cross-referencing the symbols on the tome's cover with the library's records. To their shock, they discovered that the tome was considered to be one of the most dangerous and forbidden books in the library's collection, with a warning etched into its cover in ancient script. They also discovered that the knowledge contained within its pages was said to be incredibly powerful, and that those who sought to unlock its secrets would be risking their own sanity and soul. Despite the warnings and the dangers, Nia and Samuel were driven by their love of knowledge and their curiosity. They confronted DeAndre, challenging him to share the knowledge he had gained from the tome and warning him of the dangers he was exposing himself to. But DeAndre was unmoved. He saw their warnings as a challenge to his ambition and a threat to his plan to unlock the tone's power. With a sneer, he declared that he would stop at nothing to achieve his goals, and that the knowledge he had gained was his and his alone. It was then that Nia and Samuel realized that DeAndre was no longer the brilliant and ambitious scientist they had known, but had become consumed by his desire for power and control. And so, with a sense of resolve, they set out to stop him before he could unleash the full power of the ancient tome and risk destroying not only himself, but the world as well. Chapter 5 Nia and Samuel sat in the office of the head librarian, a wise and experienced woman who had devoted her life to preserving the knowledge and artifacts of the library. They had come to her for guidance, seeking a way to stop DeAndre and his dangerous quest for knowledge. But as they explained their situation to the head librarian, 
it quickly became clear that they were at odds on how to proceed. Nia, bold and confident, was convinced that the only way to stop DeAndre was to confront him head-on, using their own knowledge and strength to stand against him. Samuel, however, was more timid and cautious. He feared that DeAndre was too powerful and that they would only be putting themselves in danger if they tried to stop him. He believed that the best course of action was to seek out the knowledge and artifacts that would allow them to neutralize the tome's power and prevent DeAndre from unleashing its full potential. The head librarian listened to their arguments, nodding thoughtfully as they spoke. Finally, she leaned back in her chair and spoke, her voice soft but firm. I understand your concerns, but I fear that neither of you are seeing the full picture. You must find a way to work together, to bring your strengths and your skills to bear on this problem. Nia and Samuel looked at each other, uncertainty etched on their faces. They had never worked together on such a grand scale, and the thought of failing was daunting. The head librarian smiled encouragingly. But I have faith in you both. You are both brilliant and driven, and together, I know that you can succeed. You must trust each other and find a way to combine your skills and knowledge to overcome this threat. With that, the head librarian rose from her chair, signaling that their meeting was over. Nia and Samuel left the office, their minds whirling with thoughts of how to work together to stop DeAndre and save the world. As they stepped outside into the cool night air, they heard a sudden explosion and the sounds of chaos and destruction coming from the direction of the library. They turned to each other, their eyes wide with shock and fear. DeAndre has made his move, Nia whispered, her voice trembling. We have to stop him, now. Samuel nodded, his expression resolute. We will, he said, determination etched in his voice. Together. As they raced towards the library, Nia and Samuel both knew that their skills and knowledge would be put to the test as they worked to stop DeAndre and save the world from his dangerous quest for knowledge. But they also knew that they had each other, and that they would face this challenge together, as a team. The fate of the world hung in the balance, and the only thing left was to see if Nia and Samuel were up to the task.